My name is Iman and I'm a final year medical student at the Ahan University. There was something very appealing to me about the medical field. I like the idea of helping patients and interacting in a team and not sitting behind a desk. So. I am very interested in surgery after much deliberation. That's just what I want to do. I love how quick they think. I love how everyone works together. There's a common goal in mind, and I love that a patient comes in sick, you treat them, and you can let them go, and they're better immediately. Trying to balance your life, and then also trying to meet your own expectations along with the expectations that everybody has of you. You have to be studying, you have to be smart, you have to know everything in such a small amount of time. that early is on time. If you need to apply for something, apply a week or two before the deadline. If you need to be somewhere, get there 10 minutes before you need to be there. My friends, and we actually heard this from some faculty, say that it's a marathon, not a sprint. You have to do things consistently over a long period of time, as opposed to studying, studying, doing, 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 and then just getting it done. It's, it's a long process. The best part of medical school is being able to learn so much information in a controlled environment. So I get to see patients, I get to be in the OR, but I have a lot of guidance and I have a lot of freedom. So it's a very safe learning environment. Yeah, definitely. It, 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 you obviously require a lot of time management skills, but there is always time for things if you make time for them. People are very active in sports, they're very active in the arts and everyone should have a social life. Um, I'd say knowing your dates when everything is due, having everything that you need, your applications, letters of recommendation if you need them, your marks. You need to be as organized as possible and you need to make sure that you really want it so that everything can go smoothly. So, one thing, that some, one thing that people should not do is memorize answers and lie because people will catch you out like this. So prepare, get familiar with the common questions that you know that interviewers will ask and be yourself, be as genuine as possible. If you want to do medicine, have that come across in a unique way because people will know when you're lying. So when I was preparing for my tests, I wish I had a resource like Maksad that helped me have all the questions in one place. So this app, this has this feature of 6,000 questions with video solutions and I wish I had had something at that time. It's the best thing to use. Mm, that's tough. Um, honesty, passion for the field and compassion for people. routine, time management and routine. And it's hard because your schedule changes on a day to day. But if you know that you have to do at least an hour of work, phone down, full focus, and then you have even half an hour for something you like to do, a hobby, family time. Having that structure is a huge part of being able to do things consistently. So everyone knows that good marks are required to get into something as competitive as medicine, but not having the best marks shouldn't deter you if that's something you really want to do. If you've decided that medicine is, a, is your passion and you want to become a doctor, you can retake things, restudy for things, you can do extra work, volunteer work. People really underestimate the effect that volunteering and extracurricular has on your application. No. Everyone's journey is different. And if you, again, if that's something that you wanna do, there are so many of my friends, so many AKU, very smart medical students that have reapplied. If you didn't get in the first time, that's what you wanna do, nothing should stop you from reapplying. If anything, that shows perseverance. Again, time management, a good healthy outlet for myself and social um, support your family, your friends, people in your medical school, 
Everyone is going through the same thing. If you stick together, it makes it 100 times easier. So again, it depends on what rotation I'm in, but if, because I want to be a surgeon, I'll talk about surgery. During a surgery rotation, we sometimes have to be at the hospital at six in the morning. We have to look at patients, clerk them, go for rounds. We have an OR. There's maybe a small lunch break if we're lucky. We do clinics. We talk to doctors, we talk to patients, and maybe I'll, I could get home by like seven or 8 p.m. on a typical surgery day. Mm, spaced repetition. If you're learning something, especially for the first time, you can't just look at it, memorize it, and then expect to know it for the rest of your life. You have to keep looking at it over and over again to make sure that that knowledge sticks. And for me, I use flashcards. I write things down and they stick in my head. Good grades good extracurricular, volunteer work. If you want to do medicine, if you're interested in a specific field, or even if you're not sure, if it's something that you want to explore, if you can say that you took extra time out of your personal schedule to explore your interest and to really make a difference, that's gonna make an application stellar. But of course, good grades too. I have a lot of hobbies. Um, I love, I'm very interested in music, so I love to sing, I play guitar, I dance as well, and then I'm also an athlete, so I'm the captain of our AKU girls basketball team. I'm gonna let them plug in my Instagram.